snacks. What it do, snackers, snack S and snack X's. It's your boy Gage. I'm here with the regular sin and jokes. We are joined by a very special someone. We want to talk about a new project they have coming out. Mr. Newton, Dream Fury Comics. Uh, do me a favor, man. Introduce yourself to everybody who's here. Who's watching. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having me here. Um, so my name is Newton Lillivoire. I'm the writer and creator of Crescent City Monsters. I'm also the uh, owner of Dream Fury Comics, which uh, publishes uh, Crescent City Monsters. Um, Crescent City Monsters is an award-winning series. Um, and just a couple of, I guess, not a couple of years ago, a year ago, uh, TJ and I, we, we started talking. We said we should collaborate. Um, that's TJ Sterling's of, uh, CJ Sterling of Ray Comics. He said we should collaborate and uh, create a, a sci-fi story. And so I was like, yeah, sure. And from there, um, we decided to work on a project called Villainous. Um, Villainous. You know, I'll get to it as, yeah, I'll get into it as, as we get along. But um, yeah, that's that's the basics of um, uh, my origin story and, and, and why I'm here and why I want to talk to you guys. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Uh, you and you and T, we know TJ for a long time. Um, good guy, man. Oh, always, always awesome work with the stuff that he's doing. Um, mm -hmm. So certainly want to shout him out. I, you know, wish he could be here with us. But yes. um, you know, we want to talk about villains and and what the idea and so forth behind it. So I'm gonna show this this piece you sent me. Um, this bit of artwork. Obviously, the Kickstarter is it will be live. So two twenty two twenty two. That's a perfect date. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Something like that to go live. Uh, you know, what matter of fact, let me move this so that people can see. Let me take that logo. Yeah, out I'm gonna I'm gonna give. Um, so that, I, I gotta give credit to uh, TJ for that one. Um, we were gonna launch. You know, we had planned on launching on um, Black History Month. And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. That seems like a good idea because yeah. originally we were gonna launch in um, December, but the Kickstarter. Um, uh, the Kickstarter field was really crowded. A lot of people were dropping Kickstarter yeah. projects mm -hmm. in December. And yeah. so we were like, you know what? You know, we, we had that feeling like, you know what? Let's just put this on pause and just um, wait until um, 2022. And so, you know, we were just like sitting on it, waiting for the right time. And then we decided, okay, Black History Month, that's, that, that seems like a good time. And then TJ Great. called me, he's like, yo, I got an idea. I was like, all right, you know, what is it? He's like, yo, <laughs> drop it on 2 22 of 2022 i was like oh i was like okay so I was like, <laughs> like, you yeah, can only yeah. do that once there's yeah, only yeah, 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 yeah. one the official tuesday you know what i'm saying like, that's an actual tuesday so that's yeah, exactly. dope and then he yes. was like yo guess who guess who else is dropping something on 222 22 i was like who he's like kanye is what dropping his album on down at you i was like okay I was like, all right, it's on. I was like, I bet you we make more sales than he does. <laughs> I, love it. I like that confidence. I like it. I like that energy. I'm with that. What um yeah, yeah. tell me a little bit about what is what is villainous? Yeah, so villainous is, is a sci-fi story. Um that's that's where it starts, right? And you know, that's because um, TJ and I, we're um, sci-fi fans. Um, currently, I'm writing a, a horror story, Crescent City Monsters. But, you know, um, I'm also a, a, a sci-fi fan, too. And so, um, and I like really gritty stories. So, uh, TJ was like, all right, so let's do, you know, some kind of like cyberpunk kind of story. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. Now, and then we sat down and we started uh, banging out some ideas. And what we came up with was the idea of Hey, you know, what if um, Donald Trump's world won, right? What if the people who believes in, in Donald Trump's ideology, what if they won, you know? And, and in the future, that's what it looks like. And the, what we consider to be the good guys are now the bad guys. And the bad mm -hmm. guys are the good guys. So, like, it, everything's kind of flipped. Because when you look at it now... That's the kind of narrative that they, they, they have, right? That's what they want, right? A 16-year-old who goes out and shoots somebody, I mean, a few people, you know, he, he, they, they make him a hero, right? He's a hero, you right. Know, he's, he's a, a yeah. Know, minority victims who innocently get shot in their own house, you know, they're, they're the villains, right? right? So it's like, you know, their narrative is kind of like to, to flip things around. So we were like, let's do that. And then on top of that, we wanted a character who was who's just tired of the whole system, right? And 
he wasn't like he, he's more of the mindset like everything needs to be just destroyed and then and and, and we start from scratch right or, or just just destroy it completely right yeah. that's his plan so um and and and, it's, and and it comes from the anger that you feel like like when when you're watching the news right and then you're like another innocent person gets um shot or um victimized right you know you're you're just you're angry and you, you want to do something right it just seems like um, and and it seems like you know whatever we were doing is not working. You know what I mean? That right. no matter what we do, it is still happening, right? So how do? You, and then you, you feel that anger and you feel that frustration. So this character captures that, right? He's he's that character who who he captures that anger and and that anger um, stays with him and, and he's he's doing something about it or he wants to do something about it. So um, that's the basics of of uh, villainous, right? Um, that that's the groundwork, and you know there's there's so much more to it. There's interesting characters, the the city that they they they, they live in is is really interesting too. So, but that's the basics of the story. Got it. How um how far in the future are we talking here? When you say uh, this like twenty one eighty five, I think. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's, right okay. around the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's right. like, yeah, we want it to be like in the future, but not so far where it, it seems like, like you know, like Star Trek, where people are, you know, um, teleporting. We we didn't want that. We want it to be in the future, but um, far out enough where you know, tech, uh, you have advanced technology, but not too advanced where you're doing some crazy stuff, you know. And right. still, we could ground it in reality, you know, because if you do it too far in the future, you know, it just sometimes it just seems a little bit too surreal and. You may not be able to connect, and you know so many things change. You know, in like 300 years, things will change, be so vastly different that you wouldn't know things. So we we try like to do about 100 and something um, okay. years into the future. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I got a question for you about this Kickstarter coming out uh, on 22222. Uh, what type of like incentives or rewards, like that type of stuff, do people give you pledges to the Kickstarter? And what exactly is the Kickstarter backing? Rebellious? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, so um, we have what you call uh, a nice special tier. Um, and I did it in my previous Kickstarter for uh, Crescent City Monsters. Um, they're a uh, collector's box, right? So these are um, box, these beautiful boxes. And the, the, the special thing about them is the boxes themselves are a piece of artwork that contains the, um, the rewards for that particular tier, right? So it's not like you take the box and you open it up and uh, and then throw the box away. No, you keep right. that box. And you'll be able to put the box on the bookshelf, you know. Um, and every, the collected tier contains um, special editions and um, um, uh, collect the items within each tier. And um, it goes from one to three, and three being the, the ultimate uh, collector's tier where you, um, you have uh, works from both TJ and I, um, myself. I'm, in, I'm gonna include some uh, um, some things that um, I typically don't offer. Like I have an online store. You won't, you won't be able to find some items on my online store. Um, okay. And the, the first editions of my um, Crescent City Monsters, like like I'm, I'm my personal collection is dwindling, you know, so <laughs> but I'm gonna give um, a couple of those out on my, <laughs> in the, um, the collectors tier and um, what we're also doing is we're going to have a um, uh, stretch goal right because TJ and I are big believers in um, stretch goals and for those of you who don't know um, the stretch goal is like uh, so our goal is going to be uh, currently it's going to be 11,000 um, so it's going to be about 11,000 but a stretch goal is if we make that 11,000 and then um, say uh, we'll say hey if we make um, 15,000 you know you get such and such mm. if we make 20,000 then you get um, um, you get such and such and usually the stretch goals are um, just additional yeah. items added to the tier mm. so everyone gets it right so it's like a bonus a bonus um, thing so what we're, we're going to do is um, we're going to approach the idea of a, an extra book right so um, the first stretch goal will be the PDF of, of that book, right? And it's going to be like an extra story that complements some um, villainous. And then okay. um, the second stretch goal is going to be an actual physical book. So if we reach that second stretch goal, then everyone who um, who backs a physical um, uh, tier will actually get a physical book along with it. So it's like a free book with your, your um, nice. thing. Yeah. So um, I did that in my, in my last uh, Kickstarter. People loved it. Um, and it's a great thing because um, ultimately when people come to a comic book Kickstarter, they're um, pledging for books, right? That's what they right. want. So an right. extra book would be like the, the perfect bonus, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
Dig that. Matter of fact, I got a question. So, like, for Villainous, is this going to be, like, um, like a one-off type of story? Or is this going to be something that's going to, like, build over time? Maybe jumping into the world, creating some other characters? Like, how far do you think you're uh, you're going to take Villainous for it? We're going to try to take it as, long, as, as far as we can. Um, so, it's going to be a continuous series. Right. This this is the first volume. It's gonna be three chapters, so basically it's like three um three full uh, comic books in one. Um, it's gonna be about eighty pages. Um, so typically for indie creators, we you know our page counts are a little different than like uh, commercial Marvel and DC. You know, Marvel and DC be like I think it really when you boil it down, they only really come to like twenty one to twenty two pages uh, right. for a comic book, but. Typically, an indie creator with no ads in it will do yeah. like 24, 24, at least about 24 pages. Some of us might do like um, uh, 28 pages on average, right? So you, you get more content um, typically than you do in um, in an indie comic book. So it's going to be ongoing series and we we plan, you know, cross your fingers to keep producing it in volumes like that, right? Um, because what happens is, well, I know this is most people they like you know big books right um the single issue um floppies you know they, they're still going to be around but most people prefer to just sit down and consume a lot of um, um your, your content in in, 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 the, in um thick books right because you yeah, know they it. yeah yeah they, exactly because it's like they read the first issue and if it's good then they're like oh i want to read the second issue but mm-hmm. they're gonna have to wait you know you know mm-hmm. they most people now, you know, with Netflix binging, you know, they, right. they're, they're in a different mentality. So <laughs> what we're trying to do is make sure that um, the books that we come out are going to be in volumes with at least like three chapters. Okay. Hopefully, you know, we can, we can start out even faster. So mm-hmm. um, that's the plan, you know, um, uh, make it a con- continuous series with um, a lot of um, uh, with huge page counts with um, pre- pretty much a graphic novel. At least yeah. Once a year. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope, yeah. man. Um, yeah, hey, Joe, yeah. if you could throw up that, just throw up the uh, Kickstarter for people mm-hmm. so they can see at the bottom. We want to make sure that 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 you know anybody who's watching this can go and and support support the Kickstarter, support TJ and Newton and and, and what they're doing with Villainous. Villainous sounds dope, man. Like it, it, it sounds. You know, again, it's it's. It does. <laughs> You know, that's one of the things that, that I love about the, the indie scene is that you, you get these ideas that you just won't find somewhere else or along mainstream that really probably do belong in the mainstream somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, you don't find it. So, um, you know, I love that y'all are doing this. Um, and, and, and you know, we certainly want to see it be successful. So everybody who's watching, make sure you go, um, you know, jump on the Kickstarter. How long is the Kickstarter running for? I'll, I'll let you guess. Okay, a month. No, no, 22 days. Okay. <laughs> 22, 22, 22 yeah, days, yeah, man. Yeah. That's how you do it. Kicking you it know what I mean? Too. That's real right there. Um, yeah, yeah. So look, so you got a limited amount of time to go into support, but we want to see it hit, and we want to see them stretch goals hit hit as well. Nice. So yes. please make sure you do yeah. that. Um, and this is one thing you, I want to say about that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I don't mean to cut, cut you off, but... Oh, um, yeah, so the, the important thing, though, is that uh, people, sh- folks, sh- uh, folks show up the, the first day, right? Because the way it works with the uh, Kickstarter algorithms is, like, the more people show up within the first days, they, they bump you up and they make you s- seem more, more in their system, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. so um, if we have a strong showing on the first day, you know, that'll just start bubbling up. And then, you know, people will start, like, oh, word, what's this, you know? Right. This, you know? And then they'll, they'll start, yeah. you know... Yeah, they'll they'll start clicking on it and, and supporting us. So we need as much uh, support on the first up day, mm-hmm. yeah, up front. Yeah. yeah, that's like the most important day ever, because um, you know that's that's where most of the um, the, the sales come in. So um, and once, like I said, once the Kickstarter sees um, the Kickstarter algorithm sees that yo, this project is hot, let's start showing people this this project. Yeah, yeah. We're they put in front of more faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, we definitely want to see that. Um, you know, look, how can people follow you, Newton? How do they how do they follow you and follow what you have going on and so forth? Yeah, um, 
I'm not sure if they can see this, but it says, you know, it says new in that dream field. <laughs> they can, yeah. they can follow that. <laughs> yeah, let me, I can type it up from the thing. It's all good. No, that's no, it. it's all good. It's, it's good. Right yeah, they can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they can follow me at Dream Fury Comics um, on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, that's my handle everywhere. Yeah, okay. Twitter, Instagram. Beautiful. Right? Across the board. Facebook. Yeah. Dream Fury Comics. Yeah. So That's you can it, always man. find us there. And then um, the, there's also uh, another, uh, we have a separate IG account for Villainous. Okay. It's, it's comic. Um, so the one thing I want to say too is the, the way we spell Villainous is not the, the real way it's spelled or, or the correct way it's spelled. And we did that yeah. on purpose. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for us, it's um, Villainous. It's V I L L A I N U S. It's a uh, and O-U-S, right? But yeah. um, we spelt it that way because it's, it's a play on words, right? Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, sometimes the, the government and with their narratives and whatnot, um, they villain us, right? They make us the bad mm -hmm. guy, right? And mm -hmm. So you know, it's, it's sort of a, a play on, on that concept. Um, Got it. You know, so just, I just want you guys to know that we know how to spell. We just, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So it was on purpose. Right. Yeah, on you did that on purpose. It's not, yeah. You know it's going to be people. That's going to be one of the first things they're going to say. Yeah. Sure, man. Is this, um, is, is this collaboration, I, you know, this, and really this is my last question. I just want to know, like, for Dream Fury Comics and for Ray Comics, is this like a Dream Fury Ray collabo? Like, what? Where is this being published under? How are we doing this? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a collaboration. You know, it's like if, um, it. if Marvel and DC decide to, to put, um, put a book together. I, I think in, in the past they've done it before. Yeah, the amalgam mm -hmm. joints and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But okay. you know, better than the amalgam joints. So those those were like. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no choice was it. But, but yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, it's um, it's basically like the same idea, you know. Um, and you know, it's it's uh, it's a concept that I like because TJ and I, you know, um, it was easy to say yes to work with TJ because, um, he, he and I, we 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 kind of have like the same mentality when it comes to you know, first um, the way you approach work ethics, right? Um, yeah. in fact. TJ works just a little bit harder than I do. That dude be, be, be like, yo, new it wins the day. I'll be like, oh man, I, yo, I gotta. I mean, but um, you know, he's he's got a he's got a really good work ethic. And then on top of that, creatively, he and I, you know, um, we see eye to eye. Not it's not that we we have like the same ideas at the same time, but like we we can kind of like um, always you know know what's hot right or like what's a good idea um which is important because sometimes you know you might be working with somebody and they throw out some crazy idea and you're like yo what the hell <laughs> you know We're right right yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. right so um so he and i you know we i think we we complement each other and we have the utmost respect when we collaborate with each other like we we listen to each other's ideas but at the same time you know um when when like an idea is like we're not feeling it we like nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. you know it's like yeah you know, you, you, we'll be up front with each other, like nah, nah, i'm not feeling it you know and luckily for us in that collaboration you know um none of us has been like really so you know tight with an idea that we're like nah nah we gotta do this this way da, da, da. so you know um and so it's it's been good that way and yeah, um, since him, he and I, you know, we're pretty much on, this, on the same wavelength. It's been easy to do that and, and you know, kicking it and, you know, um, some of the ideas that we've had, you know, some, some really crazy ideas. Yeah. You know, uh, but yeah, it, I've, I've enjoyed it. Big ups to TJ. No doubt. No doubt. Shout out to TJ. Glad he reached out to us. Really good to, good to meet you and do this with you. For yeah. sure. Um, look. Everybody who's watching, make sure y'all go and support the Villainous Kickstarter. Again, 222 22, 22 days, but really it's day one and two. Day one and two. Like, you know what I mean? Let's get in there early. You know what I mean? Let's knock it out. So um, thank you, Newton, for, for chilling and talking with us. Thank you to everybody who's watching. Um, make sure y'all go out and support early. Yes. Early, early, early. And share it. Day Tell one. people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now we're out. So who's loose? Loading snacks. Ah!